Hi everyone, today I am going to show you player footstep noise blueprint and NML reaction when they hear player footstep sound. So I play the video and you can see uh, there are some animal in walking mode, they are randomly walking and there are some uh, player just idle, they are sitting. If I go close to them, they hear our, our player footstep sound and they just run away. So let's check. I'm going forward. Yes, the fox here player footstep sound and run. Same happen with it. Yes, our deer hear our footstep sound and just flee. So these animals are in walking mode. If I go behind them, they will hear my character footstep sound and run away. Yes. So I show you how you can make uh, blueprint. Uh, I'll show you that. So let's start our work. If anybody like my channel, then please like and share it. If anybody like my channel content, then please subscribe and press the bell button. If you press the bell button, then you will get update when I upload any video. You can also press subscribe button from my video bottom left side. So I am on my project. I am using third person character. You can choose whatever character you like. Go to add component and add pawn noise emitter. And create a macron. Name whatever you want. I name it sound. Uh, select our capsule component Add get component velocity and vector length and Now take a branch and if it's uh, higher than zero our velocity movement and if it's true then there will be a sound make it straight select point noise emitter make a noise add if it's true noise maker itself main our character our noise will be one and location will be get player location get actor location Compile and save. Now go to our event graph and add it with our event tick. So when we uh, move a little bit, then there will be a sound. Uh, we go to a different level, uh, make it big. We show it here. Go to our NPC animal and just select one animal. Uh, go to our animal master class and add pawn sensing we want to hear uh, the sound so we just uh, minimize the sound you can uh, make it higher if you want animal here large area our level is short so we uh, select a lower space so we select pawn sensing our third person character if our if uh, the animal can hear our character there would be a print stain we, we, we see hello on top uh, left side so we are behind we don't see anything so we are going yes we are going close and we see there is a print stream hello whenever we move there would be a pawn sensor so if we go behind like here we hear nothing yes our code is what so by delete the print screen our code work you can modify the range I just select it, it doesn't have to be that way 
you can select whatever give whatever value you want so just uh, duplicate it uh, one character will be idle and one character will be randomly working uh, give a moving point select our character at the moving point our animal will move here to here you can give many moving point it will move that way we had a uh, nav mesh volume so our uh, animal can move we give it a like large or part of area we scale it yeah that's it now duplicate our uh, master controller we want uh, save it we don't want to save the level uh, we want uh, two different uh, mode to animal our one animal will be randomly moving and another uh, animal will just idle there so we just uh, uh, get our master a blueprint master npc blueprint and get variable so we don't create the variable so create the variable go to our master npc and whenever our animal hear the sound uh, there would be a variable called here it would be boolean it's true okay so get here add it with our branch so when our uh, character is uh, hear the sound the, then they start to run so in false we add a delay so it's uh, go back yes so when our uh, character is uh, begin play there I, we add random movement and when it's false one second it's uh, go back and check again okay just select our character and change the uh, uh, controller that will work so if we play we see our one character is just idle nothing doing and another character is just moving when he when the animal go to the round they just roar and then back to so go to master npc and check our character movement it's already 200 uh, our uh, animal are walking so we want uh, the when they hear footy step they will start to run so we just go even teeth take the branch and when they hear sound they start to run so when they hear sound set match walking speed uh, we just add it and give it uh, add to do once because even teeth check uh, uh, like 40 times a second and add a 1000 value compile and save so uh, now if our uh, uh, animal here character footy step sound they start to run so we have to do one more thing we just need to add one logic here when our animal here footy step sound they just uh, run in between their moving point uh, before uh, if they are not hearing just they move one uh, moving point and just play one any montage like or roaring add a reroute node here and just uh, bypass it and just run, uh, just hit play again the the animal just running compile and save now go to master controller 2 we don't need to play any animation so just bypass it and it will go back to the custom event again when they hear uh, player footy step sound they just restart to run in so our uh, coding is done we just add uh, three uh, different moving point and attach it with our uh, uh, animal the uh, idle animal just add it three four and and we add uh, moving point here so now play 
and chill our animal just uh, come to moving point and play any montage roaring and he just go back and roaring again so, and it just idle so if you go behind it it hear our uh, footstep sound and start to run uh, he just uh, running from one moving point to another moving point and it will continue you can add uh, multiple moving point as you like so we go to the second animal from behind and it hear our footstep sound go moving point and just uh, turn back again there is no uh, any montas playing so yeah our code is working so you can say that a lion don't run from a human lion attack human yeah you are right uh, it's just not lion we can add any other animal so let's try on deer which we created so select deer and if we want to just idle mode just change the uh, controller now just add uh, the moving point one deer will be walking and another deer will be idle mode so play and it will react the same way like our lion did it will play the uh, any montage one reach on the moving point so we check it yes it's here our footage of sound and it start to run uh, same happen with our deer yes it's idle mode when here our footage of sound it start to flee so we can add any other character as we want it just uh, don't have to be the this uh, animal you can add any animal now we add thoughts and we'll check if it's uh, react the same way add moving point change the controller add moving point play yes and see yes it uh, will react the same way so that's it uh, for today tutorial please do like share and comment if you don't like my voice you can say so yeah that's it for today we will see again bye